smell molecules are themselves quite interesting because the same molecule can smell different in different circumstances. My favorite is a molecule called 2-methylindole, which is the stink element in human excrement, but is sometimes used as a flavoring in strawberry ice cream. <laughs> Very good. That's my favorite fact of the day. <laughs> okay. So, okay. so the, the, the one other thing is that we just say about mint. Um, <clears throat> So the flavor of these chocolates is peppermint and a very closely um, related flavor is spearmint. And what is very interesting is that the taste of these molecules um, uh, that you experience, the smell and the taste, is related to the shape of the molecule. And the spearmint flavor molecule, which is called carvone, has two forms. It can either be a left-handed or a right-handed form. And they smell and taste completely different, although chemically they're identical. I can't remember which is which, but one of them smells like spearmint, and the other one smells like the spice caraway. Or is it cardamom? But anyway, one of the spices. And so just by changing the shape of the molecule, whether it's left-handed or right-handed, it fits into different receptors in your nose and mouth and gives you a different flavour. Martin, how can a molecule be left-handed or right-handed? Well, because just like your hands, that you can't put the way that our hands are arranged, because they have no mirror symmetry, you can't superimpose them. If I put one hand over the other, I've got a thumb here and a thumb there. So that they look just like mirror images. And you can just get the same with molecules if they have rather an unsymmetrical arrangement of groups. Um, chocolate was brought to the UK by, in the 17th century by the um, famous <coughs> doctor and scientist Sir Hans Sloan. And even in those days, scientists, if they saw a good opportunity, were quite happy to commercialize the results of their research. And Hans Sloan launched coffee, uh, launched chocolate as a drink for all the um, coffee houses in London and became extremely rich. And part of this money he used to build up a huge collection of natural history samples, plants, stuffed animals and so on, which in fact became the basis of what is now the Natural History Museum in London, one of the best museums of natural history in the world. So the Natural History Museum is built on a foundation of chocolate? Yes. <laughs>